Yeah, well, since New York, um, it's basically the album's come out. So uh, I've been doing all the stuff connected with, um, you know, when an album comes out. So I've done basically the most of it's been doing television uh, appearances. Um, my senses have been a bit numbed by the amount that I've had to do, and uh, I've been really, I've been really down about the fact that I haven't had time to practice or write more songs. Um, but I'm starting to get to getting used to doing that whilst under the pressure of being on the road and stuff and trying to set aside time at sound checks to do stuff like that. Because that's the one thing I've, I've felt a bit, I guess, depressed about, actually. Last week, particularly, um, when I had an afternoon free, and I, I thought I had an afternoon free, and I sat in my hotel room, I got my guitar out and I got my notebook out, and I had a couple of ideas for songs. And then uh, my manager, Mark, called me up and said, oh, you've got four phone interviews to do, it'll take up the next three hours. And I felt, I felt like bursting into tears, you know. I had all these ideas in my head, and it was, it was really frustrating. Um, the record's done brilliantly well. Um, first it went gold, and then it went platinum, which is now 300,000 albums, so it really means it's gone into the kind of stratosphere in terms of a baby record. But it, it's weird, as much as it's amazing, I know that that's what the record company planned, and I know that they've spent so much money that um, I really try and put it down to the album's good, but part of me still kind of thinks in the back of my mind that, well, you know, I haven't really been off the television, so people have no choice but not to buy it. So that's just my cynical side, but um, obviously it's an incredible thrill to know that there's that many albums out there. And, and I get great feedback from people who've got it, so I should just shut up, really, shouldn't I? Unlike um, pop stars who are just devastated when they slip off the top because they not only lose their earning power, but also their whole raison d'etre, um, he would have a craft to fall back on and a substantial career, no matter what, I think awaits him in the long haul. After all, the jacks are in their boxes And the clowns have all gone to bed you're gonna hear happiness staggering on down the street Footprints dressed in red And the wind whispers merry The broom is truly sweeping Of the broken pieces of yesterday's life Somewhere a queen is weeping Somewhere a king has no wife And the wind cries me oh. A traffic lights turn blue tomorrow Shine the emptiness down on my bed Tiny island, it sags downstream. Cause the life and the live is dead. And the wind cries for me. In, in slowing down what I'm doing now because it's just giving me the opportunity to play to more people and you know that will in turn in, in, increase as we go along and the improvements will come and hopefully that the fans I'm making now are the kind of fans who will grow with me you know and the new fans I'm making aren't aren't um, jazz fans who will, who will criticize me against Oscar Peterson the new fans I'm making are the people that will will only have me as a reference point and will go out and seek other stuff so hopefully they will grow with me um, and you know it'll end up having a much longer term effect so I'll have the chance to improve because 
hopefully it won't just be a flash in the pan, it won't just be a, a you know, a fad. It, it might be something that has the chance to breathe and grow. That's what I'd like anyway. And the wind cries. Thank you!